named after the 38th President of the United States, the Gerald Ford class supercarrier is set to spearhead the United States Navy's sea deployed air power in coming years. This will be the U.S. Navy's most expensive aircraft carrier of all time with total costs of $13 billion. The new carrier features a host of new and untested technology including the ship's two main nuclear turbine generators, dual band radar system, advanced weapons elevators and a new arresting gear on the flight deck. So with no further ado, here are the 5 amazing facts about Gerald Ford Aircraft Carrier. Number 1. This supercarrier is 337 meters long and 41 meters wide at the waterline, but has a 78 meter wide flight deck. When at its heaviest, it displaces almost 100,000 tons of water, a weight load equivalent to that of 400 Statues of Liberty. While on the outside, it wears no less than 200,000 gallons of grey paint, enough to cover the White House 350 times over. There are approximately 44,000 energy-efficient light bulbs in place across the entire ship. Flight jet space is much increased over that of the USS Nimitz and there are now three aircraft elevators instead of four. There are more than 3 million meters of cables installed in the ship. If these cables are stretched out end to end it would link Washington DC and New Mexico. There are 1.2 million meters of optic cables also installed as well. The carrier's general internal layout is designed to be flexible enough that it can be quickly modified for particular missions. Number 2. The planning and construction phase began more than a decade ago, when the first contract toward in May 2004. Steel was first cut in 2005 and a keel laying ceremony took place in November 2009. The aircraft carrier was first floated in October 2013 and was christened by Susan Ford, the daughter of President Gerald R. Ford in November 2013. As per initial estimates, the carrier's projected cost was around $14 billion including R&D, where the actual cost of the carrier itself was $9 billion. The ship's construction cost came in at a final total of $13 billion, a whopping $4 billion more than the initial estimates. Number 3. 2,600 sailors will make up the USS Gerald Ford's ship's company, around 600 less than crew of the USS Nimitz class carriers. These will be supplemented by about 2,000 more naval aviators, meaning that the carrier will typically deploy with 4,600 people on board. On the other hand, the USS Nimitz deploys with over 1,000 more, a differential that's predicted to produce $4 billion in manpower savings across the new carrier's projected 50-year lifespan. The USS Gerald Ford has the capacity to accommodate more than 75 aircraft. Operationally it will be loaded with Boeing F-18 Super Hornet, EA-18 Growler, Grumman C-2A Greyhound, Northrop E-2D Hawkeye, Lockheed Martin F-35C Lightning II, Stealth Multi-Role Fighters and Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawk Naval Helicopters. It will also carry Northrop Grumman X-47B type unmanned strike aircraft and potentially other fighter drones in the future. Number 4. The aircraft carrier will have a top speed of 35 miles per hour and technically unlimited operational range. No maintenance will need to be performed at regular intervals. It's designed to launch 160 sorties each day, but could ramp up this operational tempo to a staggering 270 sorties a day in especially demanding circumstances. Even that lower sortie level represents about a 25% increase on the USS Nimitz maximum. Number 5. The ship will be armed with Sea Sparrow and rolling airframe missiles and the Kosin weapon system. The Sea Sparrow is a medium-range surface-to-air missile, first introduced in early 2004. Designed to engage anti-ship missiles and low-flying aircraft, it has a top speed of Mach 4 and a 50km range. This missile is unique among current US Navy missiles because it rolls in flight to keep itself stable. Introduced in 1992, it travels at speeds of Mach 2 and has a 5.6km range. The Quosin weapon system is a computer-operated gun and radar that fires rounds at a rate of 2,000 per minute and can cover a 3.6 kilometer range. Thanks for watching. 
be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons and check out our other videos.